What's up, everybody? It's Big Raf TV. I'm back with another sneaker pickup video. All right, so this one right here, this is the one that I wanted most to end the year of this collection behind me. You see the frozen yellow Yeezy Boost behind me. You see the Beluga 2.0s. But there was one missing that I didn't get to close the year out with. And I went back, I found it at a pretty decent price, and let's go ahead and get into it, man. Here it is. Boom. 350 box. Yeezy. Yeezy Boost 350. Made by Adidas. Boom. And these are the Yeezy Boost 350 V2, size 14, uh, blue tint. All right there. So, I'm open this box up, and I got these from the good folks at StockX. So here's a StockX card. Um, go ahead and put that to the side. And where's my receipt? This in there somewhere for all you seat boys what else in there here's the sticker there's the stock x sticker i actually don't know what i did with the receipt but that's not important ah, i lied i lied here is the receipt for all you receipt boys so of course you all know how I do it right here on Big Roth TV. Man, glad to have this left shoe first, baby. Yes, sir. Got your Stock X verified authentic tag there on the back. Boom. So glad that I'm glad that a company like StockX exists. You know, the thing that you gotta watch out for is getting a little carried away, and in some cases, I have gotten a little carried away because there's so many ones that I didn't get. There's so many kicks that I didn't get, and I was like, man, I guess I'm just I'm just gonna have to eat that L. I'm gonna have to take that L. But StockX will have it, and you can get your W. So this was one that I definitely went after, man. And I'm glad that they verified it and, you know, they're authentic and these are the real deal, man. So salute to the good folks over at StockX for the Yeezys. Now, these, I just felt like I could rock these with more of my regular attire. These are a little bit out there, man. These are kind of crazy. but. I still love these shoes. They're great. But these, man, they're just kind of the regular. These aren't so bad. The Beluga 2.0s. And, of course, I have the black and white Oreo pair, too. But these, man, these just seem, along with the Oreo pair, they seem like they're just kind of the most. Uh, let's get the Oreos out, actually. Um, they just seem like the most ones that you could wear with anything, man. So, um it just seemed like you could throw these on with anything. You don't gotta have a special tire. Boom. You know what I mean? It's like these and these. You can just throw on some blue jeans, throw on some black sweats, some gray sweats, whatever. These two work easily. Easier, I would say, more than those two. Throw these up there. But man, when when all the, the of the three colorways to end 2017 started coming out and they started announcing these colorways, this one was one that I was like, I want this one the most. But I didn't think I was going to get any of them. I didn't think I was going to get any of the pairs. And then I just happened to get on late, like almost 30 minutes to an hour late, got this pair. When this pair was released, I was on right at the start of the release. Got through, got them. 
I was like, man, I must be lucky. This must it must be my lucky day. I'm gonna go for these. You know what I'm saying? I might be able to get these easy. Nope. Wasn't happening with these, man. Struck out. So you got your your red Yeezy supply there on the side, your supply 350. On the inside, you got your Adidas Yeezy there. Red stripe going around the back pull tab there. On the inside, you got your three stripes in white there. If you all can see the three stripes on the inside. And, you know, you got your boost, of course, on the bottom. Very comfortable. I like the way the boost feels on my feet. Got your stitching going down the center here and on the back center for your stitching. This back portion is a little bit darker of a tan or of the uh, translucent sole than it's a it's kind of a yellowish thing instead of the the blue tint that is around the rest of the shoe. And you can see on the bottom it's a different slightly different shade of the tint than it is going around everywhere else. On the laces, regular rope laces, nice thick rope laces actually, pretty smooth, pretty legit. Um, that's it, man. You've seen the other two pairs. I'm not gonna throw these on feet. Just wanted to show that these are here in-house. The collection is complete as far as the final releases of 2017. So that's gonna do it, man. These definitely get the Breath the Hitman Heart Championship Belt Kiss of Approval. One thing, in my Q&A video, I, my, I forgot a question. It was a question about would I ever review uh, rappers sneakers? Um, and I most definitely would. I would do something like that because before I was into these, these Yeezys, which are rappers, a rapper's signature collection, I was really big back in the day, 2003 time frame, 2004, even 2005, on the S. Carter collection. So I would, that is something that I would like to talk about. I forgot that question in the previous video, man. So definitely, if I, if I if they were to retro those and I could get a pair of the S. Carters or even the G units, I never had the G units, or even, what was games, the Hurricanes I'd, I'd love to review them, talk about them, have a discussion with you all for them. That'd be something cool to do, man. But that's going to do it. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you again for watching, and I'll holler at you all in the next video. Peace.